welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today we've got this super cute little cat um, pencil toppers or you can use them as, if I can get it off, little finger puppets. Aren't they adorable? They're quite simple and quick to make so you can probably make a whole set of these really quickly. Um, and also these are part of a challenge that Jenny Chan and I, Jenny from the Origami Tree, set each other. So she's created some cute cat origami pencil topper stroke finger puppets and I've created some funky foam ones. So here we go, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to create a little template. So literally I draw around, you know, just sketch it out a couple of times until you get your shape you like, but this is basically just an oval. So it's an oval with two pointy bits and then I flattened it off at the big bottom and added some little feet. So have a go drawing first and see what you can come up with. You need it reasonably big so that your pen will fit in later and your finger will fit in later. There we go. So draw your own little shape. Here we go. So I've, I've drawn mine. Now I'm going to start cutting it out. Actually, I did bring out my cute little scissors, but I think I might use my nail scissors. And the reason I want to use these nail scissors that I use for crafting especially is because they've got a rounded curve. And when you're cutting round curves, nail scissors are really handy because they've got that roundedness. So you cut around, you can, um, you know, use your template first and draw an outline and cut that out. But I find this easier. And if you do draw an outline and cut it out, um, use that as your back of your, uh, pencil topper because sometimes even when you've cut it out really neatly you can still see the line so I'm cutting it out like so take all the little bits away in the meantime I have a hot glue gun on my side and it's heating up you should be able to make these using um, really good PVA glue but it does mean it takes a little longer to dry and also you might need something like a cloth peg to hold it all in place whilst it is drying. So I'm almost cut everything out. Here we go, that looks all right. And the thing is, don't worry about them being exactly the same, simply because then they've got a sort of personality and that makes it more charming. Here we go, cut out. Brilliant, there we have our little cat shape. Now it's time to decorate. I'm gonna put red stripes on this one. I keep the pattern simple because um, it'll just look more effective, but to be honest, it's totally your choice. And as they're so quick and easy to make, you can, you know, just make another set if you don't, if you're not sure. I'm just gonna do red stripes on this one. You could make these out of cardboard, why not? But I quite like funky foam. I think it's quite fun. If you are using funky foam, test your pens on a piece of scrap uh, funky foam first just to see if they work. Like for example, I, I checked my black pen that goes with this set and I thought it didn't work so well. It was a bit too thick for the eyes that is. So um, for the eyes I'm using a, a thinner marker I've got. Draw in your eyes. A little face. And there you've got your little cat, little feet. Right, now you need to secure it to your pens. To do that, I get my funky foam back and I'm gonna cut out a rectangle. That's about two centimeters high. I'm gonna cut all the way across and then I want it a tiny bit wider than my cat, just because you're actually doing it in 3D in essence probably a bit too wide and you've got to allow for the curve of the pen and you can always trim it a little bit once it's stuck down so this is a bit wider than my cat you can see it's a tiny bit there now I'm going to use my pen for size we're using these on our felt tip pens rather than pencils so um, the thickness also means it will fit my fingers a bit better because it's a bit thicker so I'm going to put some hot glue on here and some hot glue gun here. It really does help if your glue is hot. Just put your pencil in place or your pen just to get the, the size and the shape right and squish down. Hold it in place. Like so. Let's 
let it dry a little bit. Here we go, slide it out. Oh, left a little mark on my uh, surface. Try it. If you need to add a little bit of hot glue gun at the bottom, or on the sides, wherever you might need it. And then you're almost done, not quite. What I'm now going to do, so this fits this pen perfectly and obviously my finger as well, which is really nice. I'm now going to cut a little extra um, like l loop topper. This is just in case you want to use it with other pencils, because for example, I wanted to show you this. Um, this is a much thinner pencil, so obviously on this one, it'll just slide down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this little lid, so to speak. It doesn't have to be perfect and that will allow you to use this pencil topper with any pencil that is you know either a bit thinner or the same width as your um one that you use to measure so i'm going to just put that into place you can always trim it a little bit afterwards but in essence it will now fit any pencil it would also fit my finger and it will fit a pen so here are our little uh, funky foam pencil toppers. I hope you've enjoyed them um, and I hope unlike me you will not mark your table and uh, please do subscribe to Red Ted Art because we'd love to see you here again soon. Bye! Oh oh oh! Don't forget to visit Jenny Chans for her origami cats. Bye!